Hello everyone and welcome back to Destiny. We have a little bit of news to go over from the events from the last couple days. We have of course the mention of Iron Banner that was supposed to be coming on Tuesday. And yes, I did say supposed to be coming on Tuesday. It was going to be the first Iron Banner to feature a 6v6 control, something that I've been very much looking forward to trying out in Destiny 2. But unfortunately, that's not going to be the case as we'll learn more about in just a moment. But also in addition to that, we got a very interesting tweet out from Christopher Barrett to perhaps start the marketing campaign for the second DLC and try to build up a little bit of hype. Also, if you are longtime viewers of the channel, I ask for you to stick around to the end of the video. I have some kind of important channel updates that I want to give you guys. It was going to be its own dedicated video, but with the news, I'm going to go ahead and put them both together. So without further ado, let's jump in and break it all down. Alright, so let's start off with the news for the Iron Banner. Here you're looking at a very nice selection of weapons that was supposed to be coming out with the Iron Banner that was slated to be releasing this Tuesday. Again, the first Iron Banner 6v6. And to be honest, I was actually pretty excited for it. Well, it turns out that the Bungie developers have found a late game-breaking bug with the 6v6 mode. Apparently, players are being kicked to orbit when reaching a certain score time combination, which would be pretty bad if it did go live and that happened to players. So I'm actually kind of happy that they were able to catch this in time and stop them from rolling out the 6v6 mode and have it be a utter disaster when they want it to be something to kind of celebrate. Well, they're going to be working on the fix, and in the meantime, they're going to be deploying another round of Rumble. And the exciting thing about that is that they have addressed player feedback that 8 players is perhaps too many to have during Rumble. They have reduced it to 6v6, and coming Tuesday, we're actually going to be getting a 6v6 Rumble instead. That's sort of the benefit of this featured playlist. They're able to kind of experiment and try different things before they make something permanent. They have heard the feedback that they want Rumble to be permanent, but for now, as you can see, I'm very happy that it's a rotating playlist so they can work out all the kinks before making it permanent. Here's the hoping that this mentality carries across future game modes. Hopefully they'll be able to experiment with new game types before releasing them to the public. It would be a pretty cool opportunity. If you want to learn more about it, including some of the questions that they were asking Josh Hamrick during the live stream a couple days ago, I'll leave a link down below to the This Week at Bungie so you can read through that interview on your own. So in summary, 6v6 Iron Banner is canceled until they can fix the problem. Hopefully that's only about a week's delay, but we'll have to wait and see, of course. And next week we're getting a six-player rumble, so we can jump into that and see what that feels like. Next up, I wanted to quickly address the Creator Summit that's coming up shortly. It's something that they're taking a select number of the highest-end content creators, and they're flying them out to Bungie headquarters, and they're going to have, essentially, a kind of Creator Summit where they can discuss the game in more detail. Of course, a lot of the topics are going to be hush-hush. There's probably going to be NDAs thrown around. Uh, I am definitely not one of the ones invited, but to me, this signifies something pretty important and a pretty big milestone and that they're seeing the value of incorporating community feedback and not just trying to interpret it on their own. My hope is that they take the information that they learn from those creators, representing the Destiny community, and then they work that into the fall expansion to hopefully make that game a little bit more enjoyable and a little bit more popular in that sense. So all in all, I'm very excited for it. It's a huge positive thing for the community and for the game. Moving on, we got a very interesting and very cryptic tweet from Christopher Barrett just a couple days ago. It simply states, Aurora Retroflex initiated. So what does this mean? Well, to understand this a little bit more, we have to travel back to Destiny 1's Grimoire. If we take a look at the Ghost Fragment Rasputin 6 card, we can see a log that is written by the AI Warmind Rasputin that catalogs how Rasputin deals with defensive measures. About halfway down the card, we can see that Aurora Retroflex is just a subroutine that it uses for defensive measures. We can see that it activates it without any kind of authorization, just on its own. And as we've learned in Rise of Iron, it has access to SIVA, the technological plague. 
Now, the really exciting thing here is that all we got during Rise of Iron was really the way that the Fallen interpreted SIVA. So we got kind of like a bastardization of SIVA as used by the Fallen. But if you remember back in the Rise of Iron cinematic, we can see that the Iron Lords are fighting through some pretty crazy looking SIVA type stuff, which I believe to be the raw form of SIVA, and it might actually be what we encounter during the next DLC. I think in Rise of Iron, what we wiped out was just the fallen version of SIVA, and the actual full version is still yet to be discovered. And by the signs of it, it looks like it's hanging out on Mars. So to summarize, Christopher Barrett is starting up a little bit of marketing hype for the next DLC, and it looks like he's all but confirmed the presence of SIVA as probably one of the main enemies. I don't think we'll see them as the Fallen, but perhaps a more robotic, true version, which would be a brand new enemy type, which is very exciting. Anyways, let me know in the comments below what you think this might be. Before we go, I did want to give you that quick channel update. I'm having a few things going on in my life. Essentially, I'm starting a 9 to 5 job. So, of course, that's going to have a couple implications for the channel. First off, we're not going to have any more weekly reset videos. Uh, those aren't the most interesting videos that I put out anyways. I usually try to pair them up with an interesting topic to talk about to make them a little bit more interesting. In addition to that, I may not always be there for breaking news. You can follow me on Twitter. I'll definitely be tweeting out any breaking news that happens for Destiny, but I'm not going to be there for sort of the day one information that you might need. For all of that, I'm actually going to refer you guys to a really good friend of mine, Houndish, who is killing it right now over on his channel. He does weekly resets, he does vendor guides, he does Xur inventories, and of course, breaking news. So head on over to Houndish's channel and drop him a subscribe. I'm going to leave a link down below to his channel. And of course, I'm going to be providing any breaking news if I happen to be home when it drops. But for the most part, this channel is going to focus more on analytical information. I've noticed that those videos are the things that get the most views and the content that you enjoy the most. So I'm going to take it as a silver lining and just lean into that. And so you can expect the same number of videos per week, except we're going to be diving deeper into things like weapon reviews, guides, and of course, we're going to be diving deeper into analysis for any news that comes out. One day, of course, I hope to be able to do this full time and to give you as much content as humanly possible but of course until then we will manage. Now I do want to give a huge thank you again for anyone who watches my videos and of course for those who continue to be subscribed to the channel. I thank you very much. I know we're going through a rough patch with Destiny 2 but as long as those gosh darn servers are on over at Bungie we will continue to talk about this beautiful disaster of a game. I love it to pieces and I want it to get better and I'm sure all of you do as well. Anyways I'm going to stop rambling. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more Destiny content. And I will see you all next time.